When we talk about Starship, we all know it's associated with a mission, colonizing Mars. But maybe we will have to wait a long time to be able to sit on Starship and to fly to the Red Planet because the first flights will be for astronauts and scientists to research and work. But what if I said normal people like us could also sit on the Starship earlier and fly around the world in less than an hour? Unbelievable. But is it completely possible with Elon and SpaceX? Six years ago, at the International Astronautical Congress, Elon Musk had a crazy plan, using Starship as a means of transportation like airplanes, also known as Earth-to-Earth -Earth travel. After many years of development, Starship has now made many changes compared to six years ago. So with those changes, is it still consistent with the above plan? If so, how will it change the aviation industry? Stay tuned as we dive into this and more in today's episode of Alpha Tech. 1903 can be considered the year that opened the world's aviation industry. And this year, the Wright brothers created the first airplane, which created a significant change in the way of travel in human history. To date, the current aviation system is extremely developed. Traveling between countries and continents has become extremely easy. Besides transporting people, airplanes also contribute to transporting a large volume of goods, no less than road and waterway vehicles. With that development, we all feel very normal when a new airline brand is born or a new type of airplane is made. But have you ever thought of something more unusual, like using rockets to replace those airplanes? Many believe rockets will not only work in outer space or on celestial bodies in the profound universe, but not. It can completely do the tasks that airplanes are doing. Previously, there was an idea about this, and it came from a man who's currently the richest billionaire and also the owner of the largest aerospace company in the world today. He is Elon Musk. At the International Astronautical Congress in 2017 in Adelaide, Australia, Elon gave a presentation about the plan to use the largest rocket they were developing for the Earth-to-Earth -Earth travel plan. That's the Starship we know today. However, at that time, Starship still had the name Big Falcon Rocket, or BFR. At the end of the speech, he emphasized, if we're building this thing to go to the moon and Mars, then why not go to other places on Earth as well? At that time, the BFR prototype design had a height of 106 meters and diameter of 9 meters with 31 Raptor engines in the first stage and 6 Raptor engines in the second. The prototype is made of carbon fiber material. Along with Elon's presentation, SpaceX also showed a demo video about this plan. According to that video, this vehicle will launch from the launch pad in the middle of the water and then fly out of the atmosphere. Next, the booster will separate from the spacecraft to return to the Earth's surface, and the spacecraft will continue flying at a speed of 28,000 kilometers an hour to the designated location and finally land vertically like the first stage of Falcon 9. Elon said that with this prototype, they can travel between major cities around the world in just about 30 minutes at about the same price as the full fare economy in an airplane. It can be said that the potential it brings is extremely huge, creating a breakthrough for the aviation industry at that time. However, after many years of development, the current Starship has had many changes compared to the BFR version. The booster now has up to 33 Raptor engines. The landing legs of the two stages have been removed and replaced by two aft flaps. In particular, it also uses new materials, stainless steel instead of carbon fiber, to increase durability and heat resistance, reduce weight, and optimize costs. Besides, there are also many other changes, such as adding heat shields, hot staging mechanisms, and more, all of which will help increase safety and flight performance. Raptor engines are also the main engines used for Starship. With a thrust of up to 230 tons, it'll create an extremely powerful speed. Although Starship hasn't yet reached orbit, it's estimated that Starship can reach a maximum speed at 28,160 kilometers an hour in orbital area. We can compare it with the Airbus 380, one of the fastest passenger aircrafts in the world today. Its maximum speed is 1,020 kilometers an hour. Just with that comparison, we can see how powerful Starship's thrust is. In the future, if the number of engines on the second stage is increased to 6 to 9, or Raptor 3 is launched to replace Raptor 2, Starship's power will increase even more. Thanks to the above factor, if Starship's used in the aviation field, it can help transport people and goods faster and more efficiently. Take, for example, the journey between New York and London, which is 5,569 kilometers. Currently, the average time to fly between these two places is 7 hours and 4 minutes. The shortest time ever recorded was 2 hours and 53 minutes by Concorde back in 1996. But with Starship, that amount of time will be reduced significantly, even in less than 30 minutes. With the dimensions of 122 meters high and 9 meters wide, Starship's the largest rocket in the world. It can carry a payload of up to 150 tons into orbit, twice the payload of Airbus 380's normal flight with only about 83 tons. 
With that ability, it can completely handle any difficult task with a high payload of passengers and cargo. Along with the development of the aviation industry, the quantity and volume of goods will increase. Those would be problems with many current airplanes, but it'll be extremely easy with Starship. Even Elon Musk has revealed many plans to continue expanding Starship, like Starship 2.0, with twice the size of the current prototype. If that comes true, one Starship flight will equal the many flights of other aircrafts combined. Not only will it benefit the aviation industry, but the Earth-to-Earth -Earth plan will also create the basis for Starship's most important plan, Mars colonization. It'll create a revenue source for SpaceX to maintain its Mars plan with Starship. In addition, SpaceX engineers can also monitor these flights to detect and upgrade Starship so that it can operate more effectively for more difficult missions in orbit or on other planets. In short, although there have been many changes compared to before, Starship is still completely suitable and capable of participating in the aviation field. However, before it can carry out any of these plans, including Earth-to-Earth -Earth travel plan or Mars colonization, it still needs to be tested. And everything depends on the decisions of the government agencies. Starship conducted its first orbital test flight in April this year, although after that flight, many other upgrades and requirements were completed. Starship was still not launched. This is due to cumbersome procedures and the slow working style of government agencies. Slowness and bureaucracy are obviously causing a project like Starship to be influenced, including time, money, and most importantly, its potential. Without those barriers, perhaps SpaceX's Starship would have achieved many miracles changing the history of aviation and aerospace in the U.S. in particular and the world in general. We have all realized the potential of Starship for the aviation industry, so what about each of us? It will probably be quite a while before normal people like you and I can sit on the Starship and fly to Mars. The first flight's missions will be to explore, research, and build, so that'll be the mission for the astronauts. But a flight with Starship around the Earth could seem more feasible. With the same price as economy airplanes, we'll experience the feeling of flying at super-fast speeds or the feeling of vertically taking off and landing, like scenes in sci-fi movies. Why not? Maybe we all wish to do that once in our lifetimes. With Elon Musk and SpaceX, every scenario can come true. I think we should always be mentally ready because perhaps one day in the future when you wake up, you may hear Elon Musk suddenly announce new crazy plans. At that time, if we don't hurry, perhaps the ticket for a seat on the Starship will be sold out. So get ready for a trip around the world with Starship. And that's all for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Once again, please let us know what you think in the comments section below. Your feedback's very important to us and helps us make better videos for you. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.